Welcome back. We're going to stay on this energy topic for a few more questions. This one I know has an implication with the uh, uh, circuitry that we use. Calculate the energy stored in the toroidal coil by applying uh, work or W equal 1 over 2 mu naught, uh, the integral over all space, uh, B squared detail. Use the answer to check the inductance. All right. So this is a two-fold question, and we'll dive into that as we talk about what we need to know. So the magnetic field of the of a toroid is equal to B, uh, again, radial dependence. Here we have mu naught in, where n is the number of turns, I over 2 pi s, thank you, Ampere's law, inside, and again, zero outside, because all this really was was bending a solenoid in on itself. And then uh, what we found in an example in the book was that the inductance was mu, but not n squared h over 2 pi ln b minus a, or ln of a, or excuse me, ln of b over a. All right, so anyways, since we know what the field is, let's go ahead and square it and uh, find what the integral over all space is. Clearly, with this being a square loop uh, tor uh, toroid, yeah, um, what we're going to do is take 0 to h for the height, 0 to 2 pi, and then 0, or and then a to b for inner radius, outer radius. Um, I don't know if they set that in the question specifically, but it's a square interface or cross-section. So we have uh, cylindrical coordinates again, so S, D, S, D, F, E, D, Z, and uh, now we're ready to go. I guess it could work for anyone. Just the 0 to H would just be um, the height of it, so just keep that in mind. Although we proved earlier that uh, it doesn't matter what cross-sectional area you have for your toroid, it's all going to be the same. All right, but nonetheless, just apply the integrals. Let the magic do what it does. We see that mu naught and I over 2 pi is all constant, so we pull that out. We see the S's cancel, and then we split everything up via Fubini's theorem. Once again, that seems to be our friend in this course. Mu naught's cancel, and then uh, we simplify down. We see we get a 2 pi factor canceling. We get an L in there. And so we see that the energy stored is mu naught n squared I squared H over 2 times 2 pi ln of b over a. All right, why did we leave it like that? Well, we know that we can check the inductance of a toroid by comparing the energy of this calculation to the energy found via the inductance. We know that the energy found via the inductance is 1 half li squared. Solving this for l, we get 2 times uh, the energy over i squared is equal to the inductance. All right, let's go ahead and plug this energy in. We see we have a 2 in the numer or, yeah, numerator. We plug in the energy, and you see that that 2 cancels with the 2 in the fraction of the uh, energy we found last slide. And we also see that the i's cancel, and we're left with mu naught n squared h over 2 pi, hence why we left it in that factored form, ln b over a. Again, this, self, this is self-consistent, and it proves once again that there's multiple routes to get to the same answer. We love it.